what we're focusing on, or what, what we've talked about focusing on publicly, is we're focusing on autonomous systems. And uh, clearly one purpose of autonomous systems is self-driving cars. There are others. Uh, and we sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects. It's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to, to work on. Starting in 2014, Apple began working on Project Titan, with upwards of 1,000 employees working on developing an electric vehicle at a secret location near its Cupertino headquarters. Internal strife, leadership issues, and other problems impacted the car project, with rumors suggesting Apple in 2016 shelved plans for a car for foreseeable future. Apple laid off hundreds of employees who were working on the project, and under the leadership of Bob Mansfield, Apple is said to have transitioned to building an autonomous driving system, rather than a full car, which could potentially be used in the cars of various partner companies. Though multiple rumors have suggested Apple has shifted its focus to autonomous driving software rather than a full-on car, the August 2018 rehiring of Tesla engineer Doug Field has led to speculation that Apple may again be exploring a car option. Reliable Apple analyst Ming-Kai Kuo also believes that Apple is still working on an Apple car that will launch between 2023 and 2025. Kuo believes the car will be Apple's next star product, with Apple able to offer better integration of hardware, software and services than potential competitors in the automotive market, with Apple design chips manufactured by TSMC. Apple in January 2019 called the Project Titan team once again and removed over 200 employees. The move is said to be part of a restructuring done under the leadership of Doug Field, but it's not yet clear how this will impact Apple's autonomous vehicle plans. In June of 2017, Apple CEO Tim Cook spoke publicly about Apple's work on autonomous driving software, confirming the company's work in a rare candid moment. Apple doesn't often share details on what it's working on, but when it comes to the car software, it's harder to keep quiet because of regulations. We're focusing on autonomous systems. It's a core technology that we view as very important. We sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects. It's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to work on. Apple CEO Tim Cook on Apple's plans in the car space. In early 2017, Apple has been granted a permit from the California DMV to test self-driving vehicles on public roads and is testing its self-driving car software platform in several 2015 Lexus RX 450H SUVs leased from Hertz. The SUVs have been spotted on the streets of Cupertino host of sensors and cameras starting in April. Apple has several of the Lexus SUVs outfitted with a range of different sensors running its self-driving software. New lighter equipment was spotted in August of 2017, and Apple has been significantly ramping up its fleet in 2018. As of May 2018, Apple has 70 vehicles out on the road using its autonomous driving software. Apple has held talks with four suppliers of lighter sensors that are smaller, more affordable, and more easily mass-produced than current lighter systems, which are too bulky and expensive for use in mass-produced vehicles. Apple is aiming for a revolutionary design that could potentially be used in a future autonomous vehicle. It continues to be unclear if Apple wants to build its own vehicle or supply self-driving hardware to other manufacturers, but Apple wants control over the sensors and software, regardless of who makes the vehicle. Apple is also working on its own lighter sensor equipment. Apple is also working on a self-driving shuttle service called PAL, an acronym for Palo Alto to Infinite Loop. The shuttle program will transport employees between Apple's office in Silicon Valley. Apple is partnering with Volkswagen and will be installing its self-driving software in Volkswagen T6 transporter vans to serve as an employee shuttle. German website Manager Magazine claims that Apple's industrial design group has created prototypes of a van with black and silver finishes, indicating the Apple car could be an Apple van. This could be linked to the rumors suggesting Apple is working on self-driving employee shuttles. Apple has several teams working on different aspects of the autonomous driving software that's in the works. In Canada, a team made up of two dozen former BlackBerry QNX customers are helping to develop the base operating system while another team works on developing the software that will run on it, such as a heads-up display and self-driving capabilities. In December of 2015, Apple registered three auto-related top-level domain names, including apple.car, apple.cars, and apple.auto. While the three domains could potentially be related to CarPlay, it's also possible Apple has saved the domains to be used in the future with an electric car or an autonomous car system.
Currently, the domains are not being used by Apple and do not contain any information. Apple Car rumors had suggested Apple was targeting a 2020 release date for the Apple Car, but now that Apple has ceased work on developing an actual car, the company's plans are in flux. Apple analyst Ming Kai Kuo recently said that Apple is still working on an Apple branded vehicle, which is set to be launched in 2023 to 2025. No other evidence has corroborated this report, however there are continuing signs that the project is still under development in some form.